Hello everybody, hope you're doing good as always. My name is Vishal Arora and today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most frequently asked questions to me and the question is, um, is there any, any shortcut uh, to develop language skills? Is there any magical pill or are there any formulas to speed up this process? Well, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, there are no magical pills available to develop language skills in no time. There are no shortcuts. However, there are there are methods, there are techniques, there are proven methodologies to help you develop your language skills you know, faster than the others, right? They are. But if you say, I can learn language skills or can I learn language skills in like 30 days or 90 days, no, it's not going to be a very powerful statement to make. So the right techniques, right practice, you know, putting the right time and efforts is definitely going to help you improve your language, of course. And, and, and when I say uh, time span, it's a consistent process. You know, we learn every day. But the important thing is you start. So today, based upon the experience that I come from, I'm going to help you understand three important techniques which worked for me is going to work for you too, right? So number one skill set is, or number one technique is, understand this is language that we're talking about which means it's an automatic process right when you speak in english you don't have to struggle to translate your sentence this is it's an automatic process right so it should come to you naturally and it only come to you naturally once you realize that it's not the subject that you're talking about it is the it's not about knowing the language it's about speaking the language and then knowing the language together so so what people do is they they keep spending time in knowing and learning and knowing and learning the language skills but they never develop language skills because it's not about talking about english it's about speaking in english there are two different things you never talk about your mother tongue but you talk in mother tongue simply or similarly you're not going to talk about tenses you're not going to talk about parts of speech you're not going to talk about active and passive words you're going to talk about the tons of grammatical structure in your mind what you need to start talking about is you just need to start speaking that's all right and that's the number one thing, right? So first thing which works is, and, and it, see, of course, rules are important. You need to develop your rules, but you develop it as, you know, gradually, but you don't start from there. That's what I'm saying, right? So number one thing, you know, number one skill set is the, you know, understand and understand what. Number two is uh, develop a habit. Develop a habit of speaking. It's something like, you know, um, develop a habit through through reading, right? Probably when you go back, you know, you when you go to bed, before you go to bed, you can develop a habit of reading a page or two. What are you doing this way? Is you're 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 you developing your reading pattern plus you are also developing uh, the the you know that automatic process which is needed which is needed to speak <coughs> better English, right? On any, any language for that sake. So when you're reading a page or two, you know, uh, what's happening is your uh, the language is getting registered in your brain, right? Your brain is accepting it and it's, it's, it's spending time with the language. You're, you're, you're making better habits, right? And you can do it by reading. You can also do it by listening. Develop a habit by, you know, listening, right? Or... Um, you know, probably you can listen to all the content which is available on social media. You can listen to the native speakers as much as you can. So your ears are getting tuned up and you're spending time with the language. So basically, number one is you understand it's a, it's a time-taking process. So make peace with it. Number two, develop habit of spending time with language, right? That's what we talked about. Um, and you can, you, can, you can take it this way too, right? Uh, what do you do when you have to, to, to know somebody or something, right? You spend time with it. You spend time with the person you want to know, right? You go out with that person. You talk to that person, right? Similarly, you speak English, right? Similarly, you spend time with the books. You spend time with the reading material. You spend time with listening resources. And, of course, you spend time in speaking too, right? Number three, one of the most important is build that environment, 
right? Build that environment around you, which means pair up with the people, like-minded people who also want to improve their speech pattern, who also want to develop their speaking habits. So maybe you know, find that pair, find find a find a friend of yours, right? With the equal. Uh, with the equal uh, you know, need of developing things, with the equal interest, I would rather say, with the equal interest, uh, you know, develop a friend. And what do you do with that? You, uh, you, 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 you set certain rules. You say, hey, buddy, you know what? You and I need to practice good language skills. So, which means I need to speak you to speak to you only in English, right? And you can do it by uh, doing the group discussion, right? Group discussion. You can, you can. Come up with a topic, and one you know you can you can you can agree to disagree, or you can disagree, right? Whatever. So you can be for or against, but you have a friend to talk to you in English language, and you can do a lot of debate. You know, you can pick up n number of topics to debate because once you debate, what happens is your brain starts to think. It develops that natural and automatic process. You come up with the reasoning and the logical answers, and that's what the language is all about, right? Isn't it? Right? You are coming with the reason reasons and logics and then you're figuring out the right words and right sentences and right structure and there are, there are many things which happens but they'll happen right they'll happen because by design by design as a human being we do have these language patterns already inside us and psychology says if you can display and demonstrate one skill set you can replicate um, these skills to the another by, by learning the other skill set i mean you once you've learned one skill set you can learn the other skill set too you, right you have that capability in you that's what i'm trying to say so three things important right uh first of all understand and have patience right stop looking for shortcuts number two is you're developing a habit number three is find somebody to speak to you hope that helps and um, you know for more updates for more techniques and you know tips and techniques please follow me on my channel right another thing i want to talk to you about and that this so these three things, right? So other thing is learn English in English, right? That's most important part. I've seen people they learn English, but they want to learn English in, in regional language. How is it gonna help? Tell me. It may be a shortcut again, but if you're learning English in English, that's how it works, to be honest with you. It may take time, but it's going to make a solid foundation, right? So great speaking to you and, you know, sign up and uh, subscribe to my channel for more updates.